Ladies and gentlemen, we are two more. We have two more segments for you all. And Elijah Willis' 400 subscribers special. We're going to play one of them right now. Who wants to be a millionaire? Kids edition. And I am eight subscribers away from a thousand. And hopefully some money making. I just hope this game doesn't demonetize my channel because of the Strachan brothers. They already freaking demonetized my Star Wars videos, which I deleted. How many people are going to... And you One guys player, remember okay. uh, my most, re most viewed video, Pac-Man 5? An hour-long video that got over 61,000 views on my channel. Well, good news, guys. I am going to return that game. Return with that game. Uh, for my 1,000 subscriber special. Because my special is going to be more than 10 segments. It's going to be 20 segments. Hey, kid. It's Regis. How about letting us know what to call you? All this. Let's get busy. I didn't want to fool around with Elijah's name tonight. I'm just going to do Elijah's name on here. Let's get going, going here going with your him. first question of the game. Elijah thinks I already broke one million dollars for him, but I haven't yet. Looks like I'm likely going to. Is that like totally your final answer? B is not only a decent grade, but your answer for this question. Okay. You're obviously pretty sharp, that's correct. You're off and running, but that one was pretty easy, wasn't it? Let's see if your $200 question is more of a challenge. A person would normally use a rod, reel, and a lure for which of these activities? Fishing. B is not only a decent grade, but your answer for this question. Okay. Hey, you're right. Two in a row and two hundred dollars, but that'll barely buy you a decent skateboard these days. You better take it a look at your three hundred dollar question. I hope he Here says the is. video game one too and the fat job one. <laughs> this would make this game pretty funny. What is typically used to clean teeth? A toothbrush. Quick to press answer A. All right. Rihanna would be pleased with this D right. answer. SOS pad. You're on the board with $300. Let's see how you do with the next question. SOS someone help me. I better get, I should listen to that song again. It's been so long. B. B is not only a decent grade, but your answer for this question. Okay. Smooth move, you got it. You're on your way. Well, for $1,000, here we go. Which of these is a stringed instrument? Um, a cello. You're thinking C is styling. Okay. That's right. No matter what, Elijah Willis, you got yourself a thousand dollars. Man, you breezed your way through the early ones, but now that you've reached the first safe haven, they're going to get a lot tougher. On a standard map of the world, a uh, uh, capital of the country, A, final answer. Quick to press answer A. All right. Hey, you're right. Nicole Sullivan just shared a post. I just hope it's something DC superhero. Two thousand bucks and counting. Left. No, it's just now. A here comes your four thousand dollar uh, question. The show, the car dammers. I don't know, guys. I fear the show may be coming to an end because car dam because Nicole Sullivan left the show. And, uh... Is that, like, totally your final answer? Uh, 
You're Basically, all over it's a D. There's like no all problem. the um, storylines have been solved. Cool, that's right. That sees it. But you never know. You're doing great, but don't get overconfident. These may be kid questions, but they're gonna get harder. You know For example, to take see. a look at your eight thousand dollar question. Chair handles are showing three. <laughs> Christopher Columbus's 1492 voyage was sponsored by the King and Queen of Spain. Final answer. Answer C seems like the one to go with. All right. You're obviously pretty sharp. That's correct. Hey, you're quite the expert. Again, I don't believe That's eight it. grand you know so far. That? Dude, Two more and you'll hit the next safe haven. Three. Let's play. What cast member of Star Trek also hosted Reading Rainbow? LeVar Burton, final answer. You're all over, answer D. No problem. Hey, you're right. Okay, if you can just get one more question correct, you'll walk away with and at least $32,000. No biggie, right? And I'll, I'll break $1 million in this whole special for Elijah. What famous presidential home is shown on the back of the nickel? Uh, Monticello, A, final answer. Jumping right in on answer A, fine. Nice job, they call kid. That You're voice right. The daytime final answer. The thirty-two thousand dollars. Let me go into the dark. No the one can five. diss a score like thirty-two thousand, but sixty-four thousand—that's even better. Here we go. It's about to get dark in here. In nineteen sixty-seven, the Six Day War occurred in what region of the world? Middle East. D, final answer. Is that like totally your final answer? Hey, answer D looks pretty fly to you, doesn't it? Got it. It's a free guess. Smooth move, and I got you it got right. it. Going up. You know, you're a genius. I hope you do this well in your math tests. Let's see if you can keep up the good work with your $125,000 question. Sparta and Athens were in Greece. Final answer. Cool. Is that your final answer? Why are these questions getting so easy? You're all over, answer D. No problem. I guess you could say that answer was the bomb. You're right. I, one, I think I just broke one million dollars for Elijah. I think you got the college fund started here. That's one hundred and twenty-five thousand bucks and a chance at a quarter million. Here we go. And I still have all my lifelines. In the cartoon series DuckTales, which of these characters claims to be the second richest duck in the world? Oh, this one's a tricky one. Let's see if a lifeline can shed some light on the subject. 50-50 it is. Computer, please pull out two of the answers, making sure one of the answers left is the correct one. Okay, oh, let's frick. hope that was useful. I hate those two answers. Only two answers left and you still need help, huh? Let's you know, Jake's knowledge of this kind of thing is as wide and flowing as the mighty Mississippi. Let's see if we can get a hold of him. Yeah. Patty. Hey, Jake, Regis Philbin here. Amazing. Would you mind sharing your expertise with us? Mr. Philbin, I reckon you want me to do some photo no, print. I had the card Say, today. we've got a question only but, uh, a kid could answer. Uh, can you I'm take a moment to talk with us? All right, I'm ready. 
30 seconds on the clock, please. Here we go. Uh, maybe. <laughs> That's a funny cartoon. I want no, that all I was the time. By myself. It's safe. Absolutely sure about that one? Sure as sun and dry. You know, in Texas, that's pretty much a given. Good enough. Thanks for your help. Goodbye. Mighty happy to Second help. Second richest Y'all duck in the world. Now, yeah? He says Aunt C will keep you in the game. Want to take his advice? Drake Mallard is not even on DuckTales, so it's got to be Funhart Glomgold. Drake Mallard is Darkwing Duck. B, final answer. Final? Not sure about that kid's expertise on the subject. This is a trick question. The photo friend kid was wrong, but you nailed it. <laughs> yeah, now I think about it, Drake Mallard is, uh... Okay, this is big money here. I'm talking enough to build a skate yeah. park in your backyard. <laughs> now uh, for one half duck. million dollars. Here's the next question. Sorry about that earlier. My dad came in. An employee of the company would most typically rich see which of these after retiring. Pension A, final answer. Is that your final answer? You think answer A is fat. All right. Going for, looks like I'm going to be going for one million dollars. I guess you could say that answer was the bomb. With uh, the You're Ask the right. Audience lifeline. One million dollars. Here it is, the moment of truth. Your one million dollar question coming up right now. And I can still go to the audience. Even when it's dark in the studio for these questions, they gotta turn the lights up so that the audience can see and read the keypads. In a standard deck of 52 playing cards, what are all the queens holding? Well, let's okay. see what the kids have to say. Whoa! A and C, 49. I hope that lifeline wasn't I wasted. Lifeline let's give you another wasted. 15 seconds to mull it over. Majority of this go with flower. But let's see, Queen of Spades. I think uh, Queen of Spades might hold it too. It's a flower. Final answer. Is that your final answer? The Queen of Hearts is holding a flower. The Queen of Spades holds a flower. Banking on the kids in our poll. Fine. Okay. It's 
definitely not a baby. Queen of Clubs. Queen of Hearts holds a flower. The Queen of Clubs holds a flower. The Queen of Spades holds a flower. The Queen... But what about the Queen of Diamonds? Work. You're something else, kid, and you just became a millionaire. We just won Elijah Willis one million dollars. You just won I always a million say get dollars. That cheat code How right awesome there, half is that? Everything when I Not win a that a millionaire million. needs to brag. That wouldn't be cool. But of course, you worked hard to win all that phony money. So go ahead, brag all you like, and feel free to use the cheat code below the next time you play. Later. If you're wondering what half everything is, it's a. Um, for every question you get. Yeah, for every question you get, even if you use the 50-50, you get it back for, you keep, you get, you use the 50-50 for unlimited amount of questions. Ask the audience and phone a friend, same thing. And there's even one where you can have unlimited lifelines for every question, for all three of them. All right, we'll see you later for segment number 10, the final one.